Hello. Hello. Welcome to Dadcast. This is my first time sh airing this show because a certain... A certain... Jam a certain, uh... Yeah. A jam jam Unor. Unor? Is, he's not going to be Unor anymore, apparently. <laughs> he's changing names again. Oh, no. Probably. How many times is he going to change his name? Who is he? Who is he? Yes. Anyways, um... Well, yes, James, um, you, you, you said his name on show, right? Yeah. So, yeah, James is late because he's James. Because <laughs> he had stuff to do, apparently. <laughs> and now it's just... But the word wasn't stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't stuff. No, we we legally cannot say this online. Okay. <laughs> I could also hear, like, the exact phrase he wrote coming out of his mouth. Like, he's he's... I, I can hear it too. Yeah, I had a bunch <laughs> of stuff to do, but it wasn't stuff. No, it wasn't stuff at we're all. We're talking about nothing. Nothing at all. We 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 actually have things to talk about. Yes. So. Yeah, Sunday. It's just just Ben and Mike right for right now. He should be going soon, but for the nah, moment. Oh man, it's uh, Troyan and Mudretch. Troyan and Mudretch. We had a lot of fun, didn't <laughs> we, during that uh, little time? Yeah, we went to Michigan. Yeah. To play dagger here. It was a three-hour trip to get there, but it was worth it, it was in the, my opinion. The best uh, carpool ever. It was the best time. <laughs> I, it was the best time I had in a long time. Oh, I. That's wow. Yeah, because he got hit in the eye, and he just made a pun about it. No, I didn't. I didn't get hit in the eye. Not, I, shh, shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> No, I, I did get hit in the eye. I got a mild concussion. I don't think you got a mild concussion. I was nauseous. You may have gotten a mild concussion. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like throwing up for a good bit. And my head hurt for a, for a very long time. It still hurts. Only if I touch it. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but was it worth it? Up to the... If it happened in the beginning, where like the very beginning... I would say it wasn't worth it. But, like, I had for, like, an, a good hour of fighting. So, yes, I would say it was worth it. Well, that's, that's what matters, then. It was what it? matters, yeah. I mean, unless you take too many of those, and then... But it's unlikely. <laughs> and then you don't have a Ben anymore. This you just isn't have football. A, you just have a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, too, because, like, I went with a guy... But we, um, it was, it was a guy... It was one of those guys with, like, they had the Japanese armor, had a face mask. This guy was, like like elite you know and like i looked to the guy next to me he's like you want to go it's like yeah on three he's like one two three and we charge him he had a red weapon which is if you don't know it's a two-handed weapon very big so he swipes us with that it hits my shield i get tripped up my face goes into my shield and i'm on the ground <laughs> and i saw and i saw stars it was great oh jeez yeah oh something's then, happening in my pocket some oh <laughs> Jane, Mike, you can't say that on, on air. <laughs> I didn't say anything bad. <laughs> no, I don't think I can trust you anymore. Oh, boy. Well, <laughs> he's. I think he's listening. James, are you listening? No. Can, can we talk about the uh, certain nuts? No, I don't think we can. Okay. <laughs> Dang. I was there's, gonna there, well, there's a a chat that we have with a certain a certain the one true god Jeremiah <laughs> certain meme that you know we're a couple <laughs> of friends a group of friends we indeed. just you know say a certain uh, you know it's a food you know it's a food not yeah at each other very big in protein yeah it is, it is good yeah. source of protein very good a lot of vegans Although like to use it <laughs> I think that's the peanut I don't know if other nuts have a good source of protein you just said it yeah, I did. We're talking about food. It's We're totally talking about okay. food. It's totally okay. The way you say it, it's like it's not actually, and you're like winking. But I'm I was not actually talking I'm about not, food. I'm not winking. I'm saying cashew, walnut, pecan. 
Okay, so I guess Pistachio. Dad Cast is now Nut Cast. Um. Pistachio. <laughs> Acorn. <laughs> um. Macadamia. Then again, if James was here, it would be even worse. It would be, yes. Yeah. James? Okay. <laughs> so, how did you like your time on Sunday? Oh, man, I had so much fun. Yeah? I died so many times. I got some good kills in, too. I, I saw some, yeah. It's funny, because, like, the whole place is in an, an entire... Giant in- indoor soccer field. Yeah. It was great. What's funny, too, is, the, is that... During this whole time, people were also, like, ki- little kids were playing baseball, like, the little T baseball. The other side? Yeah, and, like, even before that and after that, they were, like, doing that. And we were just all in costume with fake swords, and we're just staring at them. It was like, oh, I mean, okay, it's a little creepy. How how did they, uh, how did they manage to just play their, their softball or baseball or whatever it was while this was going on? Like, if I was a kid, <laughs> I'd be like, just, okay, no, I'm not playing. We'll just watch this, like... <laughs> there's there's dudes in medieval outfits hitting each other with foam things. I I need to watch this. It, it's it's good entertainment, yeah. <laughs> Cause like okay, this huge field is like filled up with little kids playing ba- baseball, like little T or something. And a fishnet, um, like netting is separating that their game yeah. from us prepping for a medieval war. <laughs> <laughs> I just, and then having a medieval war. Yeah, I just love the stark difference in just. Everything of what happened, like, is hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, yep. it was good. But uh, and, okay, yeah, no. uh, shield charging is fun. Shield charging. Yeah. So, how many people have you knocked on the ground? How many people did I knock on the ground? I don't know, like five or six. Five or six. It sounds good. It's not many more times than I, and it's not many less times than I attempted <laughs> to do that. Right. So. If I remember, this is one guy who went behind enemy lines with two daggers and was just stabbing everybody. That was great. Do you remember that guy? Yeah. He was funny. <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, though, too, that, uh, well, I got a concussion, but, like, another ki- another guy, Jason, also got a concussion down unit. The two guys who got concussions at the event were both in the same unit. So that was the the entirety of the head injuries at the event. Well, there was Two. one. There was one more. Oh, some guy. Well, yeah. Look, can I see when that? He, he, like it opened some skin on his forehead, and it was it was a bit bloody. But it like other than that, like you know how you always like bleed more out of the scalp than you would anywhere else. Like it was worse than it. It was. It looked worse than it did. Yeah. It was. But yeah, like it, it does look worse than it is. If there was any blood to be spilled, it was just one guy, so. Oh, we have a guest. Hello, stranger. Who are you? Sorry, Ben Alice. This is, this is my chair now. <laughs> nah, man, I'm the captain of the show. <laughs> Sorry, Captain. To... <laughs> I won't let you take this chair. Just just I give him a seat. He's the, uh, I think you shouldn't. <laughs> he's our regular host. <laughs> ah, okay, this was fun taking over that guest. It'll never be the same again. What did I say? <laughs> You'll have to watch the stream later. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah, watch Ooh. the video of this. Good we afternoon. Did say some things. Uh, so we were talking about uh, okay, Field of Bones. Which, Your by the way, was bones. called Field of Bones. We didn't mention that yet. What the heck? You talked about the event and not even mention it? Well, we, we didn't say its name. We, we ta- said we were in Michigan playing a bunch of dagger here. Yeah. Testing, testing, okay. No, it doesn't work, man. Yeah, it was called Field of Bones, and it was awesome. It, it was, was fun. pretty L-I-T lit. Lit. Yes. Lit. It was pretty lit. Everybody out there, Dagger here, please join. We need more members. I will, uh, Mike will pay you $20 if you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I will not. Just, just please do it. It is true. He will give you $20 if you join Dagger here. No, I don't have any money. We have a meeting at 4.30. If, four- if I had money, yeah, might. We, but I we don't. have a meeting at 4.30 and in, in the room. And right the three day. boys are actually running it today. Woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's us three. We're going to run the meeting. We're not bringing up the red policy. Do not bring up the red policy. No. Yet. No. No, that's not a thing. That's not what red, red right. policy? I'm just what's letting a him know. Po- what's a red policy? That we have a policy that you can't use a red weapon unless you've like, gotten good with a blue weapon. That's not I, actually I, how it works. Get, I, get good. I call it the red policy, or as long as you have like experience with it. 
So we 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 th- might think it's about not changing. even how the policy works, but yay. Well, it is now. Mike, but I'm gonna slap you and not draw blood in here. Ooh. I. <laughs> I. I. We've al- we've already discussed with the people out there what happened. So, I yeah. took three arrows. When when your tower yeah. shield gets uh, to kicked eye. in and it goes into your eye, I eye. hurt a lot. <laughs> now it's a joke. It's an inside joke. It is an inside joke, and it really hurt. But you know, like <laughs> two minutes after he sat out, we were making jokes about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's, it's only. Custom. I hear there was another guy who got hit in the ear. You heard correctly. Wow. <laughs> 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 so, one so in the bad. eye, one in the ear. How fun is that? It's great. I love it. Well, I feel the bones. Feel the bones. Um, I felt my bones. Did you feel I, your bones? I didn't. Yeah, I, I sm- one of mine was popping out eventually. <laughs> uh, I uh, I took three in the eye. You took three arrows. Three in the arrows. Eye. Yeah, that last one hurt. I stood there. <laughs> And got impaled with arrows one time. Like I dropped my shield, and all I, uh, I feel like a little, you know, push in my stomach, and I just yeah. look down at an arrow, and I'm like, because <sighs> <laughs> you can't hit arrows out in the out of the sky with your sword. Right. It has to be shield. Wait, you can't hit an arrow out of the sky. No, you can't use a weapon. Can't use a weapon. What? Yeah, that's dumb. No, it's because the real arrow would just. I, like... I think the real experience was after when we went to the buffet. Yeah. Because the uh, the daddy of our unit. <laughs> the dads of our unit, we can call them, because yeah. they're like the best people. W- way older guys. The yeah. the the sugar. T- <laughs> what are you saying? Why? I don't know, but <laughs> we had three of them, and we were you know, we were just sitting and chilling, eating some Chinese food afterwards. Oh yeah, it was good. Hey. Pretty sure I. And then after that, I had some Mountain Dew Kickstart for the first time. For the first time. For the first time, and then I freaking. James, don't you know it's a gateway energy drug? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Sound <on the> list. <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't say that. Yeah, okay. It was energy, though, so it doesn't, well, it doesn't count. Well, it's a subject. Borderline. I meant to say drink. The word, the <laughs> word gateway energy drug, drug isn't yeah. banned, and we didn't actually mention any actual drugs. So. Well, so you the- just mentioned them now. Gosh, Mike, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. We're cool. It's a gateway just energy stop. drink. Where the heck is Laura? Um, Window girl. Also <laughs> late. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I forgot her name in Dagger Laura, Hair. Laura. What's her name in Dagger Hair? No, it's, it's Serendipity. It's, I don't know. It starts with an S. I Serendipity. That. That's a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to Three M Talk Show. <laughs> ASMR hour. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> All right. Real quick. <laughs> can I look? Can, do, do I go on this monitor if I want to open the browser or this one? Uh, you that go. One. You, yeah, this one. Do All it right, real quick. I, I wanna. I, I found this new guy. Okay. And I wanna. I wanna be just like him. Do it. Be like him. Hang on. Let me show you a picture. <laughs> Excuse this me. This is the embodiment of me. <laughs> Excuse me. If I had a red weapon, this would make so much sense. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> he is a beautiful man. He takes someone over his shoulder, cracks their back, and steals their life force. <laughs> their life force. He's beautiful. Exhibit B. <laughs> Why does he look like a... Uh, Exhibit C. Look at how cool that is. Okay. Exhibit... D. <laughs> Why is this a thing? <laughs> this man is beautiful. Don't make fun of him. I'm beautiful. Look at that mustache. <laughs> then, Ben, we, we know who you're going to be. What's that? I see I... <laughs> That, that that's gonna be no that's gonna be you. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Oh. Wait, hold up. Click this one. This, this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> eye guy. Eye guy. I'm gonna be the eye guy. Oh, that's from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. What? <laughs> it's it's the original series. Oh no, we are getting out of that browser. <laughs> I may be slightly late to the DAG meeting because uh, class overlaps. Like, it barely... So you know how it's 4.30 to 5? My class yeah. is supposed to end at 4.30? I could leave early, like, 4.20 and get Oh, I know. My, my class starts at 3, but it can go as long as it wants. But I've been usually out of there before this meeting starts. And 
I need to be there because I have the notes. You have the notes. I have the meaning notes. Notes. So yeah, if you're interested in uh, LARPing, sword fighting, they also teach leather crafting. They teach all sorts of crafting. Yeah. Uh, they There's they make drinks. Also, some archery. There is archery too. I have a bow. A foam one and real one, but no, you don't have, shoot I, the real ones I, at people. That I would be terrible. Real, I have a real one. <laughs> How do you make the number one disappear? You subtract it by one. Bruh. I think that's how you do it right. You well, I mean, if it's on a dry erase board, you know, just erase it. Nah. nah. Make, I'm making this one better. This is so open-ended and vague. Okay, back to the topic at hand, Dagger here. Um, they also teach foam sword making. Yes. They yes. They'll teach we'll you how to make a foam soon. axe. <laughs> Garb, you know, sewing that stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, making stuff and then use it to using it to uh, look cool or bash your friend on the head with no, no, not on the head, never on the head, never on the head. You don't no. <laughs> never. I'm going to make a red that is a club that is wait. Mm. Okay. <laughs> you bash your friend on the the torso with it. Torso, yes. Yeah, that's an insta kill. Hit me in the torso. I see what you're doing. Ben, no, bad. <laughs> Do not go home, Ben. <laughs> go home. <laughs> I don't want to go home. Go home, Ben. Uh, yeah, okay. So, what's next yeah, okay. on the list to talk about? So, if you like dag dag dagger here, well, if you like sewing, and you like like hitting people and making them. Oh hurt, yeah, you could participate then. without uh, doing combat too. Yeah. There are other things to do. And, you know, we really never went to this page. Is this the new page? No, this isn't the new. This is a different page. This isn't the... What? And there's a lot of cool people that, you know, you meet playing dagger here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this <laughs> lady has a really scary sword. That's a lady? I didn't ask her. I'm sorry. <laughs> that person has a sword. Um... So, in regards to dagger here, it is technically counted as a sport. It's a sport, everybody. It is a sport. Legally, it's a sport. And not a tabletop game, you feel? So, if your parents say, why don't you get into sports? You need to be more active. Here's your excuse. Yeah, oh, yeah. here's your uh, sports for nerds. Yeah. Yeah. It's a physical activity. Oh, crap. My friend got a Facebook so he could join the Wardens of Gildersleeve. But I don't know if he's allowed because he's not a student. I should probably ask Erica. Actually, I'll ask you. Huh? So, uh, my friend, who hmm. he's played Dagger here before with us okay. once. He's that one guy with the... Remember? The guy with the spear who literally just picked up the spear and started using the spear. Um, uh, And he was pretty decent with it. Who? Dan. Uh, Arvis. Dan. That Dan? Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Not Hunley. Okay. Um, but my best friend Dan, he's in Bowling Green. Yeah, we should consult Erica. So he he wanted to get on Facebook, join some stuff. Because uh, the it. current policy is no, but um, that's well. because like we couldn't remove somebody if they were like causing problems. That is fair. So it's it's at present it's like current and former students. Yeah. Right. But I mean I don't know if there's going to be like a separate thing to deal with that in the future where it would open up more, which would be cool. Hey, hey, mud wretch. If there's a way to figure it out, it will happen, but I don't know. Oh, man. And then, other than that, we... Ooh, what else is there to talk about? I mean, basically hit the home with it. Red weapons. We actually got to use our first red weapons practice on practice Saturday. Oh, that was fun. Oh, my oh, gosh. Your first red weapon. My first red weapon. The same, actually. I took it in one hand for more than half of that practice, and I just started... My wrist still hurts. I need to get a, sh a punch shield with that red. <laughs> then I'll just hold it with one hand and go, woo. There's people <laughs> that do that. There was some guy there, in Field of Bones who did that. There are people who terrifying. apparently dual wield reds. Yeah, that's hilarious. They count as blues, but, you know, if you can, if you can <laughs> hold it, you got the reach. They're like menacing. <laughs> You've got, like, you, you got like it strapped to the side of your arm up here, and you, go, you, you have the extra leverage. I don't think leverage. you do that. That's... I don't know, maybe. That might be uh, painful for you because if that's taped to your arm or something. That was like a, it's like, it was like a strap or something. Even if it was a strap tape, it doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. 
<laughs> but if you were to hit that against something and it punch it like so, it hits something or you know the force oh, yeah. will like being like it will f- it will destroy your arm. <laughs> I'm talking about like getting that extra momentum, but yeah. I I'm thinking about you know making red. Making red, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna one hand it. What about what, what will, about a yellow? Oh, I'm thinking about making. I'm several not making reds. a bow. What's that? I'm not making a bow. Bows are. Eh. I want to make a Can bow. Can I make? Yeah, a bow is something to buy. A bow is definitely something because th- that's actually yeah. real wood. But yeah. You can get well, not always. There's like fiberglass bows, but you can't use them. No. Yeah, if I bring a real bow, they probably wouldn't like that. Well, they are real bows. They're just weak foam bows. arrows. Foam arrows. It's so arrows. If, so if I brought a real bow but used foam arrows, it's be under real? thirty-five pounds draw weight. Because like I can adjust. And the, I foam can. Arrows. I can. My my bow can go up to sixty pounds. But well, you said a minimum of thirty or a maximum of thirty. If it goes over thirty-five, you cannot use it. That's the thing. I can adjust my pull weight on mine. Then adjust it to thirty and use it, bro. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure that's okay. Okay. Be- I won't have to buy a bow then. Nice. Mm. Woo! Just need mm. arrows. What's it look like, though? Oh, it's a, it's a cougar magnum. You're a cougar. I don't know magnum. what that looks like. Is it like a compound look at, bow? Look, it's a compound bow. I don't know if you could use that. Look it up, James. Did it, did anybody have a compound bow there? No. James, look it up. No. Look it up. Look up cougar magnum. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> 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 what are you what are you crying about, James? <laughs> I turned and this cord got stuck on my knee and I thought I broke something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, cougar is... This is going to be a brand of condom. Yep. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> very unhappy. Hey, you know my name's Troyan. It, 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 yeah, it does kind of sound like that. And yep, Troyan. No, wait, no. That's not it. Uh, bow. Yeah, that's... Bow. That's, uh, that's a different type of thing. It's the same name. Uh, first one on there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they can't do compound bows because they're unrealistic in the time. What? Yeah. What? Did they have compound bows back when King Arthur was alive? I'm going to say yes because I want it to be. I mean, no. it <laughs> actually depends on the right, kind. But it, I'm, does it have the, the pulleys on it? Because I can't see from here. Did compound... Uh, I'm just say um, I'm Doctor Who. Exist <laughs> in medieval. You did not spell medieval right. I'm gonna medieval your The answer face. is actually yes, but not with pulleys. They had some of them had moving parts. You need to shut up, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we getting some sass here. Nut. Mm, nut. Let's say that five seconds so no, it's no. on the list. Pistachio. Almond. Macadamia. M- my nut ac- macadamia. <laughs> 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 Cashew. Now, he, here's what I'm going to also do. Walnut. I'm going to make a cosplay. That is not what Pecan. I wanted. Uh, <laughs> Acorn. <laughs> Acorn. <laughs> That's oh, perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Oak tree. Chestnut. Buckeye. Chestnut. Your, your face is a nut. <laughs> I, James, I want to be quiet about that. It's not. It's personal. My face it is a nut. Please don't tell nobody. <laughs> the, this guy will. I thought your he face was you. the face of Alan McLeod. It is the face of Alan McLeod. He's a nut, too. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. So, how about we play a video? A video? A docu- documentary about. <gasps> and let's give our thoughts about it. I want to be educated. Let's react. Okay. All right, guys. I have to leave, in like, I have to leave in like three minutes, though. It's your boy, oh. Jam Jam Ultra. Today, we're going to be reacting to a YouTube video. No, it's your boy, Guzma. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! Should I should I switch to a different YouTube? Like, open link in tab. <laughs> What's so bad about what you're doing? It keeps going to here. Well, yeah, you want to go to the search bar, don't you? Shh. Okay. You know what's a good skill? To have in college in general freaking life. typing You're words right. right yeah that's yeah. a good skill and knowing how to use the search part in, in youtube okay james i want you to tell me it's what where this thing is where is the address bar 
<laughs> it's down here. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. Um Hello. Hello, we're back. Can I full screen this? Yeah. That was someone from one of the uh, from Crown War, I think. Oh, okay. So this is in recent area. Oh, never mind. It's Tallahassee. Tall Tallahassee, my bad. I originally was from a chapter in Ohio called Arendor, and I found the game while I was in college. I moved down here to Florida, and there was there weren't any groups here in this area, so I uh, started talking to a, talking about the game to people at my job. So got a few people involved. I realize we watched this one at the first Dagger Here meeting. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Well, but we didn't watch the whole thing. We just cut it off like there and there yeah. too. Uh, they told their friends. So it's going they exactly like <laughs> um, I watched maybe, this three times. Maybe a half dozen of us. Usually the practices were just two or three of us, and we fought out at Tom Brown Park. What's that guy doing? Um, decided, you know what? Let's actually sort push to move it over to campus. We'll get more people walking by and joining us that way. Moved on to campus. I uh, got one girl who just kind of showed up. And she got so involved, she ended up being the president of the student organization, and that's last PL. You start a little spark, and it starts a wildfire. It's not always just about the fighting. The fighting is one of the major aspects of it. But even if you're not a big fighter, there's plenty of other things for you to do. Yeah, you can make chain, chain mail. mail. People learn to work with leather. leather. Uh, yes. I know people that have learned medieval pottery, so they can make uh, historically accurate medieval pots. It, one thing leads to another. There's a doorway, and if you're looking, you can find something else that you can love about Dagger. Did you say the if gateway? If someone who knew nothing about Dagger here came up and asked me about it, Ugh. I would tell Shaggy. them that it was a medieval combat sport. The rules in a match. It looks like Drake from Dragon Josh. No, that looks pretty cool. Look at his armor. Match we play. It is cool. Um, we have traditional team battles. So just like in Halo or any other game I gotta that has a team game in it, you just fight to the death. Real quick, and Ben. Bye. What? Uh, Laura's gonna replace you in a second. Oh, okay. When she gets here, I don't She's know. She's gonna replace me. You All can't right. replace me. Get replaced, son. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's continue watching while Ben leaves. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. He he had to leave mid sentence. It's good. That dies first is the losing team. That's the best way to describe it. A torso shot will kill. See ya. Uh, losing any two Bye. limbs uh, to swung shots uh, will also kill. So uh, two arms, an arm and a leg, two legs. Any combination of that. Swung headshots don't count. Uh, headshots with projectiles do. We call it a uh, an honor-based combat game. Honor-based because uh, thank you. we don't go no, out of our way to piece. say, hey, I killed thank you, you. Or, I, I took your oh arm. My gosh. You need to do that. Because <laughs> we think that if if you took the shot, you should take the shot. You know, and we leave it at that. We don't we don't try to become our own referee. If I feel like I, I hit you in the arm and you didn't take that arm, I'm just gonna make sure the next time I hit you it's a little bit harder and you know where you know I hit you in the arm. It was a fair shot. In Dagger here, there is a huge event every year. It's a week long, it's called Ragnarok. Um, it takes place in Pennsylvania and it usually has at least 1,200 people no, Ragnarok. there in attendance. And battles Wait. upwards of Yeah, no, Ragnarok is like a camp out, yeah, out event. So it's pretty cool. There are lots of events um, that you can go to in Dagger here. There's actually two in Georgia that are really close by. Um, you can go to Ides of March. Oh my. <laughs> and it's a really big fight. I haven't been to it yet. Hi, Ben. But I plan on going to Ides of March um, this March. So oh my gosh. Go away. Uh, 20 days. <laughs> Trying to react. He's disrupting the whole show because you're actually talking about it. Heck yeah. My name is Shattered Haze Alterada, Emperor of Mirkwood, Knight of Dagger here. Welcome to Ides of March. You are about to be taken on an amazing journey through Arthur the Sub. Look, they look like the wardens. In some ways, it's a, it can be a fairly schizophrenic group uh, with people who, have, who are here for one reason and people who are here for another totally different reason. Or you can look at it as possibly a spectrum uh, from people who are what we would say flirby, uh, who, who want to 
be here so they can just get in character and pretend that they're, uh, you know, a Viking or an orc or a warrior of some kind. Yeah. And then people who are what we would call stick jocks who... Uh, so, like, uh, would you, Mike, would you say that a good part of Dagger here would be the role-playing aspect and the fact that you get to be whatever character you want to be? And then, Nick, you don't even have to fight. You can just yeah. join, make your own garb, you know. Okay. Role playing is also a big part of this game, which is awesome because it adds to the, to the uh, community of it. it. Yeah. Makes it a sociable game. You can learn things from people. I want to learn how to how to make my own garb and eventually armor. I need to make those fan braces. They're going to be from here to here, and they're going to be blocking shots while I hit red. Because once I become a red fighter, Mike, I'm going to need that extra protection. I need to find my van braces. Cause I actually Are they legal? Have, they should be. All right. They're thick enough, and they don't have, like, any sharp points, so... Thick. <laughs> All right. Uh, as the name implies, I want to just be out there swinging a stick and hitting people <clears throat> and try to do that as well as I can. So, uh, for me, it's, it's a chance to be immersed in sort of this environment where everyone is sort of enthusiastic about their about their fighting and about their the group that they fight with and where everyone is 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 sort of really i, I say that with quotes because we're not actually using weapons but everyone's really fighting um everyone is actually hitting each other we're not just sort of throwing bean bags and saying that, that they're lightning bolts and uh everyone is actually running around and do you see that guy with the red being faster or being more Bow and arrow. being more skilled being more accurate being more um agile those all help you out in the game we have lots of battle types in the game of Dagger here. Um, to divide up pretty easily, you have non-res battles and res battles. A non-res battle is you fight, you die, and you stay dead until one team has successfully killed the other team or completed whatever the objective is. A res battle is you die, you go back, touch a res point, which is sometimes a herald, a cone, a tree, whatever we can get our hands on, and you get to come back out and fight, and the fight just keeps going and going and going until the objective is finished. Those are the two simplest battles. From there, you can go into bridge battles, open field battles, capture the flag, legendary shield. So it's just pretty much whatever the mind can imagine is what we have in the way of battles. And every event you go to, you always find a new battle and try to put your own spin on it whenever you run a battle or an event. It's all about the gully battle. The gully battle. Started, yeah. Everyone comes out for the gully battle. So that happens in a few hours. It's a really thin, thin area. Mm -hmm. like, 15 people deep on both sides. <coughs> but you get to come back. It's, it's the best game. If Another big part of the game would be the uh, many different types of game modes and the fact that you can make up your own game mode. I'm pretty sure, Mike, right? Yeah. I'm okay. pretty sure you could do that. Think of something. Actually, yeah. we did it. Yeah, we did it. We kind did. of made a new game mode the other day. Because, you know, we were short on... Red Gauntlet... No, that's that's the thing. It it was uh, the um, the Red King. Re what? What is the the Red King? Uh, kill your killer. Because the person there's only one red weapon. So the person with the red weapon, if you killed that person, you got the red weapon. Darn. And uh, you were invincible for like three seconds after getting it. That'd be awesome. And then we did that. Yeah, no, I wasn't there for it. I wasn't there for like two hours oh, of it. Right. Oh, right. I can't conserve my energy for uh, a few moments. You're at lives, you're out there, you're running around, you're hitting guys, you're getting hit. It's a big rush. This is the best battle of the year. I love it. It gets my blood up. It really does. I tell the guys beforehand, I tell them, you know, take the nice part of you, take that gentle part of you, take that really good part of you and set it aside. We'll pick it up again at the campfire. But right now, we're getting in there, and we're knocking some people over, and we're stabbing them in the chest, and we're going to get up, and we're going to do it again, and we're going to do it again, and we're going to do it again until their will breaks, and their people start walking off the field. This game's one in the end, not the beginning, so you got to set a pace and just knock them, and just knock Get in here. Don't smile at me, window nut. <laughs> oh, that's why. Them and just knock them. It's like being a boxer, and you're just sitting there throwing that jab, throwing that jab, throwing that jab for 10 rounds, and then you have a ground. Here comes that yes, buck. <coughs> and then it's it. You break the will, and it's over. Total, 
at the end, the team that is the least out of the three teams will be consumed by the other two teams for the rest of the I'm a vice president of Dagger, so I have a more important role, I guess, <laughs> than some. I don't just come out and fight every day. Like, this event, for one, I run the event, or am helping run the event with a few other people. Dagger here, to me, probably means a little bit different than a lot of other people that fight. I came into the game just looking for uh, just kind of a sport, in a sense, and since then I've found family, friends, and a way to get out aggression, a way to just, like, sit down, have a good time, relax. I thought she was but too short. First and foremost, it's Texas a way to just, near. like, be who I am and who I am in real life and bring it into the game and that's I, as a blood runner group I fight with we fight on the front line we don't step back behind other people and that's mm -hmm. how I've always kind of lived I just stand up and take a challenge mm -hmm. head on it just lets me be who I am Dagger here to me is I mean it's, it is first and foremost a sport uh, it, is a, it is a physical contest between uh, competitors um, that's the that's the central part of the culture. The trimmings, however, <laughs> like the uh, the nightlife at events, the, the the camaraderie that you get with your unit mates and with people that you fight with a lot. Um, that's it's really it's icing on the cake, is what it is. When you can spend the day beating each other up and then spend the night enjoying each other's company yeah. and having fun and being and being friends, there's a camaraderie that. <laughs> that transcends uh, anything else. There's yes. no one in the circus that I don't consider among my very best friends. And that's a huge thing, to come out here and be able to hang out with all of my favorite people and do a sport that I love. I, I meet all kinds of people from different ends of life. I mean, I'm a chef. He, he does interior work on houses. Blackhawk used to own a construction company. I know uh, lawyers, doctors, uh, all kinds of accountants and everything like that. These really calm dudes in, in normal day, they come out to a dagger, dagger here event and they're roaring and they're ripping through people. They're yelling, they're getting raunchy drunk. Probably the best thing ever. I have a great time doing this sport. I love the people around, all the, all the people that you get to meet right and on, see. Man. Like they come from everywhere and they come to these big campouts. Like we're at, we're a hundred plus now from last year. There was like three, 300 max last year or something like that. It was like 260 and this year 260. we're over 360. We're over, we're over 360 now. So it's like, and it's it's spreading everywhere. Really what I'd like to see is the game grow with just good people. Cause it's not the numbers that matter, it's the quality of fighters. Cause once you get up, if you have a battle that's a hundred people or 200 people, it's not <coughs> a huge difference unless you got like 200 quality fighters. Uh, the, the numbers are exciting to see out there. It's amazing seeing huge sprawling battles in the hundreds. Mm -hmm. Groups of guys or girls that are just working together and have for a while and they're just putting on a show. So